How's it going everybody and welcome back to the MGSR server. If you haven't seen the last episode, we worked on clearing the water for the big project. And in this episode, we're going to continue working on clearing the water. As mentioned in the last video though, we are getting kind of low on sand. So we may have to go to the sand biome and gather some sand. I also asked you guys to pick a color, either terracotta or glazed terracotta that you guys preferred. And you guys either messaged me or commented on my most recent post. And I'm going to be announcing the winner actually in the next episode. Though I have a pretty good idea of which color you guys like. In the last video, we actually ran out of potions near the end. And I do not have any more puffer fish. So let's start out this video by heading over to the ocean and start gathering some fish. And I'll do another time lapse for you guys and I'll see you once I'm done. Alright everyone, now that I'm done fishing, that was one of our longer fishing sessions. Let's head back down to the chests, I'll put all the fish away, and I'll put the puffer fish in the four chests for the bottom floor to the underwater base. For our next project, we're going to go mining for a little while, as we didn't get much iron in the last episode. So we're going to hopefully get a, quite a bit of iron this time, and maybe find some diamonds. Because once we clear the underwater base, we are going to be putting the enchantment table down there. And we are very low on our diamond supply right now. So I will see you guys after the time lapse. Alright everyone, I am now back. Though that wasn't really a successful mining trip for iron, it was for diamonds. Because I think I'm at a total of 13 diamonds right now, which is very good. But for now I'm going to start crafting up some potions, because I still haven't crafted them up yet, and we are currently out. And I'll do another time lapse for you guys, and I'll see you once I'm done. As of right now, we have no efficient way to build a potion. We have to keep putting items in, and then we have to take them out when they're done. And it's kind of a pain, and it takes a while. So today we're going to be building a potion farm. You can click in the top right of your screen to watch a video on how to build this potion farm. But the one I'm going to be doing on this server is going to be a lot smaller, because I only use two potions so far, and I'm only planning on using two potions in later videos. So I'm only going to have four blocks instead of, I think I had seven or eight in my redstone server. And it's going to be nether warts, pufferfish, golden carrot, and redstone. That way I can craft up both night vision and water breathing potions. So I'm going to craft this up and I'll see you guys once I'm done. I'm now finished making the potion farm. But before I move the brewing stand, I'm going to craft up as many potions as I can. That way I don't waste the blaze powder that is already in the brewing stand. So I'm going to start crafting these up and I'll move the rest of the ingredients that I have over to the farm once I'm done crafting them up. And I'll do a quick time lapse for you guys and I'll see you once I'm done. Thank you. 
Alright everyone, this should be the last potion that I can build with this brewing stand with the current blaze powder. And I'm just going to bring these over into this chest right here. I've added a chest, I don't think I did this for the design of my redstone server. But it's basically a chest just to put all the potions that are already made. But yeah, now we can delete this. And I'll actually have an extra hopper now, because I have one in my inventory. And let's place it in right here. Um, first, let's see if we have a blaze powder, because I don't think we're going to use this without a blaze powder. Um, the buckets, I'm still going to have to transfer. I did not do that yet. So I'm just going to transfer those up, and hopefully I can find a blaze rod to turn into blaze powder in my inventory. And I'll see you guys once I'm done. Alright, I just made quite a few different water bottles, and I'm just going to put them in here. And for the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to gather some more sand. I'm going to fill up my inventory completely with sand. And we're going to start placing it in the underwater base now that we have quite a few different potions made. And I'll do another time lapse for that. And I'll see you guys once I'm done. This is what we're currently looking like. We are almost done placing in all the sand. It's been a long process, but we're near the end. But as of right now, we only have about 14 stacks of sand left. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to head out to the sand biome and gather some more sand. I could clear the water for the sand that's already in there right now and have one wall blocking the water from getting into the dry part. But I don't really think that's easier at all. I think the easiest way is just to head on over to the sand biome and gather some more sand. I don't really know any other reason that I'd need all this sand for, but I figured we're almost there now. Might as well fill up the whole thing and then clear it all. And that way it will be easier when we're clearing it all to just clear everything once and not just clear it now and then re-put the sand back in and then clear it again. So I'm going to craft up myself a diamond shovel and start gathering some sand and I'll see you guys once I'm done. Alright everyone, I got about 10 stacks of sand, which will hopefully be enough to clear all the water. We don't have that much left, and usually a potion, I can use about 15 stacks, so figure this will take me two potions to use, which will hopefully be enough sand to clear the rest of the water. I also moved some of the iron in here, but because the potion stand took about 55 iron or so, we don't have that much anymore, which means we may have to go mining in a future video. But for right now, I just want to walk through the farms and make sure everything's working perfectly. So our cactus farm has, oops, one just fell, has quite a few cacti in it. Um, the cocoa bean farm is working good. We built that a few episodes ago. And it's working pretty good. Um, though we do have to put the cocoa beans in one of these chests when we're done. That's the only problem with this design, though it is pretty easy to use. All the other farms should be working really good as we usually walk through them at least in the beginning or in the end of the video checking on all of them. But those are the two that I was most worried about. But since the cocoa bean and the cactus farm both work, unfortunately that is all the time I have for for today's video. Be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button and turn post notifications set to all.
because there are new videos coming out every other day on the MGSR server. You can also message me on my Instagram at MGSRGaming if you have any ideas for future videos. But otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Click on the top left to watch a video that YouTube recommends for you, and click on the right to subscribe.